Welcome to the Nacholas Workshop. I'm Paul. Today we're going to look at how to set up the Unimat SL to cut tapers and set the adjustable milling head on the SL when it's configured as a milling machine. So let me show you how to set the machine up to cut a taper. So the only tool I believe we need is a 5mm Allen key and at the back here I'll, I'll swing you around in a minute and show you this one Allen bolt which we, uh, we can move and then you can just, there's a locating pin focus for you. So small lo locating pin in the head. Once you've got this allen bolt at the back loosened it then allows you to turn turn the actual head of the uh, or the headstock to your desired angle and then you tighten up the allen bolt at the rear and you can then cut your taper. So it's a pretty simple process uh, when you want to, um, when you finish cutting your taper and you want to set it back to uh, normal turning, you just turn the the headstock back to the, roughly the right position. Again, this this locating pin is it's a really good fit. So again, just slight wobble to get it in. It goes in nice and tight and then you tighten up the bolt at the back and then you're back back into normal normal mode so it, it's all lovely in theory whether in reality it works I've yet to find out um, I've got a feeling it may be slightly more of a challenge to get it back perfect so what I plan to do is to be able to have a let me zoom out a little bit uh, to have a ground bar which I can put between the centres here and then I can clock it up to actually see whether it truly does go back to so that I'm not accidentally cutting tapers. Um, so that will be something I'll do after after the restoration um, to yes see how uh, how accurate this thing is really so it's a pretty simple approach it's not um, uh, I've seen some other videos with with guys doing it so it's not not too uh, too tricky and it seems seems to work well so let me uh, just um, move the camera and then I'll show you how it's uh, set up for when you're milling when 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 the SL is configured as a as a milling machine I'll be back back in a second. So now I've set the uh, the SL up as a as a mill, and what we've got, as you can see, we we've adjust I've, I've adjusted the the head to to be on an angle. It's exactly the same process because it's the same uh, headstock, but it's just up on its side. So um, this because I've got two SLs, this one that's um, sort of permanently set up as a mill is. Um, is a bit more in not not such a good condition and, and it's quite a challenge to get the um, locating pin out so uh, plenty of work to do here on the um, restoration but again if you wanted to just to point it downwards to to not cut an angle you would just reset it exactly as we saw a minute or two ago on the uh, when it's configured as a lathe so that's about it on um, cutting um, tapers on the SL and um, adjusting the, uh, the milling head to, to um, cut angles when, when it's configured as a mill. So I hope you found it useful and um, as always uh, stay happy, strong and healthy. 
Cheerio.